from everybody at Ashbourne Animal Welfare, including all our cats and dogs. We're a small independent charity rescuing and rehoming unwanted stray cats and dogs. We've helped over 8,000 since we began in 1988. We opened our rescue centre, The Ark, in 2001. We have a small team of dedicated staff, but we rely heavily on the help and support of a large number of volunteers who come along to dog walk, help in our cattery, and raise money through our many fundraising activities. We are very passionate about animal welfare and care deeply about all the animals that we look after. When we built the ark, we had very little money. And in fact, it was done on a shoestring budget. And a lot of the work was actually done by volunteers. Since then, we've made strenuous efforts through our own fundraising to expand and improve our facilities for our cats and dogs. But over the years, some of the physical components of our cattery and kennels have started to deteriorate and are now in urgent need of upgrading. As part of this constant upgrading and improvement, we have started an ambitious programme of refurbishment of our older kennel blocks, using up-to-date materials which are robust and much easier to keep clean. Some of the old kennel dividers have reached a stage where they are not strong enough, certainly to stand up some of our more energetic residents. Jet is currently booked into one of our economy rooms, and as you can see, it wouldn't get awarded many Michelin stars. Maisie, by contrast, can be seen enjoying much more luxurious accommodation in one of our smart, upgraded kennels. Last but not least, our dog isolation is in desperate need of refurbishment. As you can see, it's a pretty dismal place at the moment. Support adoption for pets have always been very helpful and encouraging of our charity and its work and have helped fund this garden room cattery, which has helped increase our ability to help cat more cats than kittens. Whilst we are pleased with what we have managed to do so far, we now urgently need additional funding to complete this project. A grant of 50,000 would give us the confidence to go forward with the rest of the renovation of our old kennel block and our dog isolation. We would need approximately 60 to 70,000 to accomplish all we wish to do, rising to possibly 100,000 if we go ahead with an additional block on the end of the kennels. So from everyone at Ashbourne Animal Welfare, here's hoping for whatever the outcome, we owe a huge debt of gratitude to support adoption for pets. Thank you.